Are you looking to register for Project Catalyst on your Daedalus wallet? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's figure out how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how you can register for Catalyst using your Daedalus wallet. So a quick heads up, as of the filming of this video, we are on Fund 4, and on Fund 4, if you're using Daedalus, you can only register it with a Daedalus software wallet. That being said, they've already announced that they're going to add hardware wallet support starting on Fund 5 with Daedalus, so if you're watching this in the future, you'll probably be good to go. But if you are watching this shortly after we've published it, and you have a hardware wallet, I recommend if you still want to participate in the voting process for Fund 4, check out our video on registering for Catalyst using Adalite, which already has support for hardware wallets. All right, so with all of that out of the way, let's jump in. All right, so as previously mentioned, we're filming this video during Catalyst Fund 4. But if you're watching this sometime in the future, you can come to the IOHK support site, go to Project Catalyst, and check out the FAQ for the fund that you're in for more information on how to get installed and any specific particular information about the fund that you happen to be in. So for us, we'll open up the Fund 4 FAQ. We'll put a link to both this main Project Catalyst section as well as the FAQ for Fund 4 in the description below. And additionally, if you'd like some more information about what Project Catalyst is and how the voting works, check out our previous weekly recap where we dove into it in some more detail. The main thing you're going to want to confirm for any given fund that you're participating in is the minimum ADA required to vote. For Fund 4, if we scroll down, we see here it's 500 ADA excluding rewards. But make sure to double check for the fund that you're participating in, the FAQ for that fund, to make sure that you're eligible. So let's go ahead and get registered using Daedalus. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up Daedalus, select the wallet that we want to register with, confirm that we have enough ADA in our wallet for the minimum requirement, and then we're going to come over here to the voting section. All right, so register to vote on Fund 4. We get a nice reminder that is a nice incentive for participating in the voting process. There will be $140,000 worth of ADA that's going to be distributed between all the ADA holders who register their vote. So that's nice. So okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we need to download the Catalyst voting app on our smartphone. You can take our smartphone out and scan it here, or you can go to the App Store. So let's go ahead and get the app installed. I've pulled my phone up here. I'm going to go ahead and do a search for Catalyst Voting. Then I'm going to hit Get. Once it's been installed, I'm going to go ahead and open the app. And once it's launched, we get a nice little welcome screen here that we can slide through. Future of Cardano, Discover, Vote on Proposals. And let's pick a challenge and get started. They give us a heads up that all the proposals are in US dollars, but they're paid out in ADA, so we're good there. And now we're on the main landing page. So now that we're all set, we can go back to the Daedalus app and say, yes, I've installed it on my phone. So I'm gonna say, cool, I've installed the Catalyst Voting app and let's click Register to Vote. We're gonna select which wallet we want to register. So we'll select our Daedalus software wallet, the one that has 550 ADA. We're gonna hit Continue. We see some small fees associated with registering our wallet to vote. And then we're gonna to need to enter our spending password to confirm those fees and to register the wallet with Fund 4. So go ahead and enter your spending password and we'll meet you back after. Once you've typed in your spending password, hit Submit Registration Transaction. We see the transaction is pending. It says it can take up to five minutes. So we'll leave Daedalus running in the meantime while the confirmation happens. It's gonna wait for 10 confirmations, so we'll let them go through. All right, so the confirmation is complete, so let's continue. So here it's asking us to enter a PIN. The PIN we set here and the QR code that we're about to get are required for us to vote using the Catalyst voting app on the smartphone. It's important that we remember the PIN. If we forget this PIN, we will not be able to use the registration for voting and we'll need to repeat the registration process. So pick a PIN that you'll remember and write it down somewhere safe. Fill it in and then hit continue. Once we've hit continue, a QR code is going to appear. We're going to scan this QR code right now using our smartphone, but in addition to that, we're going to need it as part of the voting process when voting opens up. So what you'll need to do is either take a screenshot of this, print it out, or save it as a PDF like they have down here below, but make sure that you still have a copy of this QR code somewhere safe throughout the entire voting process, okay? So make sure you do that. So once it's been successfully downloaded or you've taken a screenshot or printed it out otherwise, we're gonna check off and say, I understand that I will not be able to retrieve this QR code again after closing this window. And I acknowledge that I must have downloaded the PDF with the QR code to vote in Fund 4. So I got ahead of myself and I closed that screen. Don't do the same thing we did. Make sure now is the step where you're gonna to want to get your smartphone, open it up. I have mine here in the center of the screen. Go to complete registration to receive voting power. You'll click on that. And now here it's gonna to say to register, open Daedalus Euroyer Adalite. 
and you're gonna to wanna to click on the bottom where it says scan the QR voting code. So you can either scan the one that you have on your screen right now, or if you did like we did and you closed it too early, you can open up the PDF and scan that. So go ahead and do that, we'll do the same, and then we'll check in with you right after that. Then once you've scanned it, and now it's going to ask you to confirm that pin that it gave you, that important pin you had to pick that you can't lose. So enter that pin in now, and then we'll go from there. So once you've entered your pin, hit decrypt and set access code, and we see here that registration is in process. It'll be completed for fund four here on this date. Your date will obviously be different for different funds. And then your voting power will be determined by the ADA balance in the wallet at the time of the snapshot. So it's not about the amount of ADA you have right now. It's the amount that you have when the snapshot happens, it's on your screen. If you're good with all that, hit, you got it. And so this is a common confusion that we've been hearing from a lot of people and we've seen that's been happening in the Catalyst message boards. At this point, you have registered. Even though it says your voting power is zero, the reason why it says that is because the snapshot has not yet happened. Unfortunately, there's no confirmation that says, hey, you're good to go, you're all set. But if you've gotten to this point, you scanned it, put in the pin and hit, you got it, then you're good to go. Now all you need to do is wait for the snapshot to happen and for voting to open up. When the voting period does open up, we'll put another video out that's summarizing some of the different proposals and show how to vote. But for your registration, you're good to go. So if you want a little more information again about Project Catalyst, check out our previous video where we dug into it in more detail. If not, check out one of our other videos. Congratulations on getting set up for voting, and we'll see you when it's time to vote.